Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In the previous video, we have seen how we can make use of Angular's AG grid and various features of it. In this video, I am going to show you another feature of AG grid where we can provide link to other websites or hyperlink as shown in this example. As you can see here in this AG grid, I have added different countries and its details. And as you can see here in the last column, I have provided link to map of that particular country here. This is one of the widely used feature where you are going to provide hyperlinks or links to external sites based on the raw data which you have added in AG grid. So let's see how we can achieve this one in Angular's AG grid. This is a continuation of my earlier video. If you have not watched that one, please click on the link provided in the description and watch how you can add AG grid in your angular application right now you can see i have only simple columns and row data here i don't have any hyperlinks to the sites to provide the hyperlink first let me add hyperlinks into our array where we have defined the row data i will add another attribute here that is map and within the double quotation i'm going to add the hyperlink for this particular country this is a hyperlink which I got from Google Maps for India. Similarly, add it for other two countries. Now we are done with adding the link to these countries as attribute here. The next step which we need to do is we need to bring that map into our final column. For that one, let me add another column here. I will add as map. So let me save this one before converting this one to hyperlink and go back to browser and see how it is looking before we converting this one as a hyperlink. So as you see in the browser, you can see plain text in terms of hyperlink, which we have added in our row data is being displayed here. But I want to convert this one as a hyperlink so that whenever user clicks on this link, it should take me to that site directly. For that one, you need to write a function and render these cells here. For that one, write a cell renderer, then function. It will accept the parameters which we are going to provide in our row data. Then open the function and within this one, we need to return the hyperlink. As we are expecting the hyperlink should be added into our columns. For that one, you need to create a HTML hyperlink attribute here for that one. As we know, we have a hyperlink tag or anchor tag A within this one define href. As we want to make this one as dynamically, you need to get this parameter, whatever we are getting here. So as we have defined this one to the map field, so these parameters will be fetched into these parameters. So we can use this parameters value and attach it here using params dot value. So hyperlink which we are getting in parameters that will be attached to our href. Then we want to open this one in a new tab. For that one, let me add target is equals to underscore blank. Then close this angular tag here and add a text for this one i will add a text as map so which will be shown to the user and when we click on a map this url or hyperlink will be opened so let me save this one and go back to browser you can see here whatever the text we have defined here as a map that is showing it here and the hyperlink which we are bringing from this row data that is being attached to these row entries so now when I click on India India map is getting open here similarly if I click on Australia Australia map is getting open here so this is a simple feature but very useful when we are going to link external sites or any other sites here that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on like button and share it to others.